Welcome back to Fan Talk. I'm David. And I'm Tom. And uh, you know, in this uh, video, we're going to be talking a lot about Comic Con. Uh, a lot of cool stuff out there. And um, for you guys who are unfortunate enough to not be able to go or haven't gotten any news about it yet, hey, lucky you. You subscribe to Fan Talk, and we're going to drop a lot of dates on you, kind of let you know what's going on. So, uh, so you want to lead us off with uh, Terminator, was it? Yeah, no particular order. Terminator Dark Fate comes out uh, November 1st of this year. Uh, the big news. At Comic Con was that uh, Edward Furlong is back. Uh, Cameron is getting you know all his pregnant people together. Um, <laughs> uh, so obviously he'll be back with John Connor, be about I, I guess like forty one years old at this point. So uh, it's kind of really in there as the you know leader material that they've always shown him to be. Yeah. Um, see how much he's aged like Kristen Bell, I guess. Uh, <laughs> actually, I've seen a couple pictures. I'm hoping that those were just bad shots of him uh, from back in the day. But I'm looking forward to getting that crew back together. Well, I mean, if you think about the Terminator sequels, I mean, have met a lot of the same. A lot of people have not been happy with them. And I understand. The Terminator 1 and 2, I mean, I'm kind of one of those guys that, like, you could have just stopped. I mean, I've enjoyed some of the other films just from a pure, like, you know, their own individual thing. But as a sci fi thing, yeah. A lot of them I have enjoyed. What about that? They belong in the series or great addition to the series? Yeah. And some of them, I mean, were bad. I mean, they were. I mean, I can watch them and say, Hey, that was fun. I enjoyed it. That's what you'll be doing. We watch a lot of movies, and there's a lot of things out there that I say, Hey, I enjoyed it. It doesn't mean necessarily it was a great movie, guys. <laughs> okay, it means that I watched it, and I watched a lot of films and a lot of TV shows, and I, I took something away from it. I didn't feel like it was completely wasting my time. If I say it was awful, it, it, to me, that means it was just a complete waste of my time. Yeah, there's, I'm the same way. Like, there's only been a handful of movies I've turned off on home video, yeah. and I've only ever Almost walked out of one movie in the theater. Yeah. I mean, other than that, I find it's something I can enjoy in everything I watch for the most part. Yeah. That doesn't mean, you know, I'll come out saying, oh my god, I'm a stinker, or oh my god, I should stop watching horror Shore movies. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I can always find something enjoyable about it. I mean, some of the most enjoyable films are also the worst. But having said that, you know, some of the Terminator movies, bring the back to where we're talking yeah, about, yeah. have a, some of them have some really good, you know, sequences, ideas, everything else. but as I said, they just don't connect well to the series, move the series forward. Not even the storyline, even worse than the X-Men series. Well, what I've heard about this uh, Terminator movie is that basically what they're going to do is just like that take place somewhere around the time that T2 finished off. And it's like the same actors and whatnot. Is there, do you think there's, there's okay. any truth to that? Or if it's just... Unless they do some severe reverse aging on a little well, hotel set. Yeah, no, I don't uh, mean, I mean like it's like it takes place. It's like this. You can take all the others and just throw it out in Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. I thought you meant like yeah. that. Yeah. I ordered that wrong. I mean, it's like a direct continuation. There's no team three, there's oscillation, there's no genesis. Yeah, it's just these three films, basically, yeah. will be canon. Right. Uh, the three uh, camera movies. Yeah. And I don't think he's going to retake his uh, uh, throne of the biggest movie of all time with uh, Terminator now three. But, you know, I'm sure uh, he'll get some. Uh, I'm sure he'll probably do better to get the head at the helm and, you know, Hamilton for a long and somehow they're going to have to explain Arnold being 537 years old. <laughs> um, but I look forward to even the trailer show is older. I don't know if that means it's because he's been, or, you know, they took him back in the past further so he's aged more, or they took him back out. And, you know, there might be a million other reasons I have an older version on the line in case they need an older version to set back. We'll know soon enough. Okay. Um, well, moving on, uh, Top Gun 2, or sorry, Top Gun Maverick. Maverick, get it right, man. Top Gun Maverick. It's really touchy about that. <laughs> Uh, 626 of 2020. Uh, that trailer is out looking good. Uh, the Iceman comments, Al Kilmer is back involved with this. Jennifer Connelly, Ed Harris. Uh, check out our reaction trailer to the uh, that movie and we'll talk about it more. Yeah, I've done that the trailer already, so check us out on that. A new uh, Picard trailer dropped at Comic Con. Um, the first one really was a teaser. This one, you see Brent Spiner as Ada. You see Seven and Nine. Yeah. Uh, you know, they're, the, the show is also going to have uh, Riker and Troy in it in parts. Uh, and, Looks good. I can't wait to see it. It's all access. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it. I saw whatever Picard first and talked to the crowd about it, and he was real emotional. Which, if you know, he was just talking about that it's a different Picard than you're ever going to see, he's not a Starfleet captain. This isn't a Starfleet show. And Star Trek, so far, most of what we've seen is always Starfleet. I mean, the most you've gotten away from that is you've said Stein, really. Yeah. You know, um, but this is not supposedly, in, anyways, it's not going to be a Starfleet film. He's not a captain, he's not affiliated with Starfleet in any way, and it's, he's kind of a broken person. There's something's happened, we don't know exactly what yet. But, uh, and he's kind of keeping the company of 
as these ruffians rather than his normal, you know, first meeting. Number one. Yeah, <laughs> things like that. Obviously, uh, it's gonna be some stuff going on, but I mean, you can't you can't put that group of people together as a Star Trek track fan and not be excited. Yeah, I can't wait. So, uh, TVS All Access at uh, the end of this year. Uh, yeah. Um, really looking forward to that one. Also, there's another Star Trek show coming out uh, next year, uh, Lower Decks, uh, animated. Uh, takes place on the description as a non important Star Fleet ship. Uh, <laughs> and then obviously, Lower Decks implies it's going to be the, uh, the enlisted class. We've always, all of our Star Trek shows have always, with the exception of uh, uh, Orion, yeah. from uh, Next Generation and Deep Space Nine, all the Star Trek characters, uh, uh, their current characters, have been uh, the officer class. Officers. And we've never really seen the enlisted class, or even if we even knew those were there, other than O'Brien obviously being referred to as you know, uh, Chief O'Brien or that reference maybe being a, a chief warrant officer or a chief petty officer or whatever else may, you know, that might apply. Uh, but lower decks is something great. They can't see more details about it, see how they're going to do it. Well, I'm kind of excited because I kind of, I don't know what I would like to see from it. it like it would, with it saying a not important Star Trek ship or Starfleet ship. Yeah. It's kind of like almost funny. And you're like, well, isn't every ship in the fleet important? So I'm almost wondering if they're going to take a little comical role from it. And maybe there'll be a lot of comedy. Which would be something that you don't, you see some comedy in Star Trek. Watch the ship doing it's the crap run from Marine Two Earth. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you see some comedy in Star Trek, but not like a comedy. So right. it would be really, it would be kind of fun if they maybe they took that approach. But we'll see once it comes out. As long as it doesn't go too far into the direction of the Orville with the uh, yeah. Star Trek Harpons. <laughs> uh, hopefully not. Uh, next is, uh, this is one that, um, more I look into, the more I'm looking forward to it. His Dark Materials. Yes. Uh, HBO BBC uh, Productions um, coming out uh, towards the end of this year, eight part series uh, based upon the uh, young adult novels, which I was about 10 years ago. We had the Yeah, and, and that's really based on what, they, what you and the fan, most people are going to remember is a movie that came out called Golden Compass. And it was originally supposed to be a trilogy. Yeah, it's going to be a trilogy, mm-hmm. and it didn't flop. It did horrible in the box office, and immediately the studios cut it. And they're like, yeah. nope, you're not getting anything else. Which I was a little disappointed. The movie was not great, but the book series was good. There it was, was a good fantasy movie in a period of time before we got a ton of uh, big world fantasy movies. Yeah, and, and there was a lot of possibility. They just didn't quite get there. And well, I kind of thought maybe with some sequels they would have, but I understand why the studio cut it. I do. But I am excited for this. They got McAvoy coming in to do it. Amazing actor. And Emma Miranda. I'm a huge fan uh, of McAvoy. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Miranda is doing the music. I, I'm not sure what he has in there. I saw him on the uh, cast list, so apparently they actually cast him in there. Okay. But he had cool. a job in the music too, then I think everyone's going to be a fan of that. But, yeah. Well, um, I mean, it, it, I saw the preview. It looks it looks way better than Gold Compass. It looks fantastic. Yeah, probably got next season. I think that uh, it's going to be something really good. I mean, there's a lot of opportunities, a lot of boots to fill over there at HBO. Now the Game of Thrones is over. They're really hoping this takes some ankle. Yeah, and it, it, it looks, it looks like it could. I mean, in my opinion, it, it looks like it could really uh, take off. We'll see how how much the fan base uh, agrees with it once uh, it starts airing. Okay, well, I'm going to get the next one on my list is Snoochie Boochie. Ah ha ha! Jay and Silent Bob Reboot. Yeah, coming out later this year. We'll talk about more in our uh, reaction trailer. Yeah. Reaction slash discussion trailer. We're going to have about yeah, this. Yeah, uh, this, this movie in in our opinion, deserves a whole video because we are both huge, huge uh, Smith fans. Smith fans and have been for a very long time. I appreciate his work. Him as a person in general, I enjoy the things he does. And so uh, we'll talk more about this in another video. Yeah, his movies are to be fair, their own special brand of comedy. Yes. Either they're made for you or they're not. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> no one's going to say, as much as other Kevin says, no one's going to say that these are going to be award winning. But if you love them, you love them. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Um, uh, some of the uh, in memoriam to the show is now ending. <laughs> Game of Thrones, uh, uh, Supernatural, Walking, Walking Dead, Dead uh, Agents of Steel. Yeah. yeah, so you know all these uh, shows like had little parts out of the uh, Comic Con to kind of say like, okay, well, you know, some of them are actually announcing this is going to be our last season. This is going to be our last season, and some are obvious like Game of Thrones or you know, last season, and everyone's really thrilled about it ended. <laughs> um, you can do a whole video about. Some people's disappointment. We did do a whole thing sometimes about, um, you know, the uh, or discussion about uh, finals on a, a series, which ones worked, which ones didn't. Yeah, and, and, and you know, it'd be and, fun. you know, the Game of Thrones one was, it was fine. Uh, 
Uh, I yeah. honestly, I would argue it ended the best way it could. Okay. Yeah. Like I, like yeah. I have a total view. We'll do a video on this though, because a lot of you are gonna hate my opinion on it. Hey, leave comments about what you think. We can actually make a new video. But uh, I do think that that they ended the best way they could have. That for another time. Okay. Uh, <laughs> And then uh, one uh, little pepping uh, moment on the Comic Con that I liked was uh, Conan O'Brien and the 21 Wookie salute that Peter made you. That's what he did. Conan called all the uh, people in uh, cosplay as Wookiees up to the stage and uh, just kind of had them all do their yells. Uh, it was a tribute to uh, the late great Peter Mayhew who passed away in the last year. Obviously, Chewbacca for most of us. Uh, so it was, a, it was a nice touch um, to have that. And, uh, you know, people, people part of the Comic Con to really remember some of his. Uh, some of the stars that really helped make this whole, uh, you know, nerd base that we've all come from. Well, to create the worlds that, that, that we live in, yeah. that we enjoy. And, I mean, when you look at the overall content at Comic-Con this year, there was a whole lot that seemed to drop at this point. So, then the fame Marvel, mm-hmm. and... Uh, all each was packed. Everyone was wanting to see what Marvel had to serve for in the audience. Yeah. And they started off, they, they gave us at least the first portion of Phase 4 with it. Couple dates, you want to? Yeah, follow those up? so like right now, I mean, everybody has done a lot of leaks, there's been a lot of things coming out about what was coming out and when, but uh, we actually have some dates for you now. So, um, I'm gonna use my notes here Black Widow is coming out 5 21 20, we have the Eternals coming out 11 6 20, um, of course, Shang-Chi Legend of the Ten Rings that's gonna be 2 12 21, so we're only getting two Marvel movies next year. But then in 2021, we're also going to be getting Doctor Strange 2. Yeah, uh, the uh, Multiverse of Madness. The Multiverse of Madness. Um, and then it's actually going to come out 5 7 21. Um, and then Thor, Love and Thunder, which is coming out 11 5 21. Okay. So I mean, we finally have some dates for the beginning of the movies. So 2 in 2020 and then 3 in 2021. That doesn't factor in anything Sony might do. Sony might do. And that's really how it has been is we've had it. So like that's kind of been how it's been Two, for a while. Three, yeah. yeah, but they even said that like it, it shows a lot of leaks and stuff were probably pretty official because everything was kind of leading that we're going to get two movies next year and then probably three, three, three from here on out. Um, I bet the following year has to be you know uh, Guardians of the Galaxy three, Captain Marvel two, um, yeah, you know, uh, some of these other people that we've been looking forward to that just haven't popped up yet on the radar. Yeah, uh, Panther two. Um, yeah, but. Uh, I think I think phase if you look at the phases like you know phase one is like what, four or five movies in Avengers phase two is like eight nine movies and then uh, Ultron and then phase three was like ten movies it's a bunch of movies it's yeah. the bigger if you're looking at the list of them I think phase four is gonna be the same way because they're doing uh, different events in a second but they're doing big TV and movies and so I don't think this isn't all phase four yeah this is just no this is just the, just just the tip of the iceberg but of course we're gonna start off the first one from the Black Widow movie mm-hmm. and that's gonna be a prequel. Cool. So it didn't agree. It looks like uh, the way they set it up, and they do their misdirection, mm-hmm. but the way they set it up, it looks like it's taking place right after the Civil War. Yeah. Uh, so uh, it also looks like, uh, based on uh, some of the uh, footage they gave, is they might be breaking in another character to take over the Black Widow mantle. Yeah, which would, which would make a lot of sense if it's up in Black Widows. But one of the things I thought was interesting is that you know, this whole time, we were thinking it might just be a total prequel, and now it seems like there's going to be a lot of Flash. Those Scenes that we've seen already are probably all going to be like flashback scenes. Yeah, and I think they'll probably be bouncing around. They can be show her in the training days. They can show her in the first throughout the Marvel Universe timeline. And they probably have to do is cut her hair and, you know, uh, do the right color. They can really, they can do a lot with her without actually messing up the timeline. Yeah. And they got Rachel Weiss in this, so, you know, looking forward to some new blood. Yeah, I think it's, it's going to be entertaining. A lot of people have actually cried for this, you know, cried out for this film. Um, it's been a long time they can Yeah, and, and well. this is one of those things. I, I remember whenever it's first talked about, there was a lot of talk about whether or not Black Widow would carry her own film, and I was like, yes, and especially with that actress, you know, then you got Scarlett Johansson doing it. She carries her own film. Yeah, yeah she... and, and, and it's just, the character is very loved. It's like, you know, when they killed her off, and then there was a little shock to a lot of people, and a lot of people were <laughs> really upset about it, actually. You know, so. Uh, I'm excited to see that one coming out, and then that's going to follow right up with the Eternals. Yeah, and you know, you know, follow Hayek, our cast of projects, and many others. Uh, uh, this is a comic I was less familiar with, and I've been uh, trying to catch up on it a bit. Uh, that one looks like it's going to be fun. That's uh, taking a, another kind of different route for Marvel, just uh, like, 
Flying, there's a whole new thing of the universe with a whole new cast of characters. Now they're just guarding the galaxy. Take all at once. It's all been touched on a bit. A lot of people don't realize that. There's been, uh, of course, all the Marvel movies, there's new snacks. And as this new stuff comes out, we're going to be meeting the things that I don't know about yet. We're going to be like, going, oh, there's going to be little things like in the different adventure movies and stuff, especially like the collector uh, is room and things of that nature. We're going to look sure. back to, we're going to come back. A lot of people don't know this, like, but Thanos is an eternal. So, uh, you know, the Eternals have been touched on. I feel like the reason Thanos is an eternal. But we'll see. Uh, I don't really oh, know anything about more this storyline yet. Yeah, there's no real plot details. I haven't even seen a trailer for this. We're going to Yeah, so but we'll get more information for you guys as we get it. But we do know it's coming out, and it's the beginning of the phase four. Yeah, and Long Black Widow. And then Shang Chi is coming out, uh, we're talking, uh, Legend of Ten Rings. Yes. Um, and I've, it's hard to find out that they've already, as you said, a lot of those Easter eggs are already in. And they probably right. actually have that in the hand, the real man in it. Yeah, well, there's a lot of talk, and, and, and they said yes. I mean, they've done so a long time ago, when people were going, well, you know, that wasn't really man, you didn't have the rings, the power, and this, that, and the other. And he was like, yes, eventually I do plan on getting into the Ten Rings. And it's right there in the title. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so, not mine, but yeah, Ten Rings. Ten Rings. So, um, you know, and that's gonna that's gonna tie in really well. I feel, I feel like with the Doctor Strange universe, which obviously I think there's a reason why you have that movie and then, then Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange, multiverse of, of madness. The thing I'm excited about Doctor Strange, the is, first horror movie, yeah, and, and PG-13, the yeah, horror movie. Horror movie. And, and I, I do feel a little weird now by this because I feel like the new movies are supposed to do that, and I'm hoping that one of the main reasons they held that movie is because they wanted the Doctor Strange to be the first one to kind of. Maybe test the market because Doctor Strange. Think about unlock the mutant pool thing. Yeah, and then and then maybe bring that movie in later because I really want to see that new mutants movie. I'm anxious to see it. I don't want to see it totally scrapped. Uh, don't scrap that, Disney. Nope. I want to see it. Send me a copy. Oh, the pilot <laughs> is on Fox and or release it and uh, not promote it like Dark Mutants. Yeah, maybe we'll see. But but it is going to be a, a horror genre. You know, PG thirteen, like you said, it, it's going to fall a little bit darker side of things, which makes sense if you're a Doctor Strange fan at all. Obviously, he fights demons, he uses magic. Um, lots of uh, scary entities out there that he saves us from. And, of course, it's looking like we're going to have Scarlet Witch in this movie. So, yeah, uh, she will be in that or, I mean, she'll be in that movie as well yeah. uh, with uh, Doctor Strange. And then uh, the last one we have on our timeline that's available is Thor. Love, Love and Thunder. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I actually... Really has a very, like, uh, Retro 70s uh, look to the title screen on that. Well, and, and yeah, and, and kind of a little. Uh, I'm surprised that Thor 4 is going to come out before Guardians of the Galaxy. Because as far as I'm aware, you that. know, he's the Guardians. Guardians. Yeah. yeah. So I'm wondering if this is going to fit in somewhere different, you know? Or... I'm wondering uh, if. Because um, obviously now that. No, we're just now finding out what this is on the yeah. But now that Portman is back, which is amazing to everyone because we thought her character was kind of written off and the whole concept of her becoming Thor was in the comics was written off. She didn't return to the Marvel Universe after Thor, or as the Dark World. Yeah. But now she's back, and she's going to be Thor, Goddess of Thunder. Uh, yeah. Now, she's going to be... There's some questions, and we don't want to have going here. Yeah. Uh, we know uh, and then also, too, uh, Thor's last scene headed off with uh, the Guardians. So the question will be, will this be... Hemsworth, obviously Hemsworth is going to be in it to some degree. Yeah. Will this be his movie? Uh, you know, trying with her and, you know, and throw her rope or, off. Or, or is this her movie and he shows up as a cameo? Yeah, and it might be because I've really heard a lot of talk about Natalie Portman. She can have, she can carry yeah, heavy. She can carry that. Well, I've heard a lot of talk and she's Lady Thunder. She's going to be the female Thor. And that was a big spin off of the comics. The comics did all that and they were talking about it and it kind of all faded out. And there was a lot of, I heard the rumors and things that she didn't necessarily enjoy doing the, <laughs> all the. Uh, Marvel movies, and uh, she kind of was wrote out after the last one, but then she was in Endgame. There was some scenes. Oh, yeah, there, there's like some audio put in there. It's not really, you know, going back to the full yeah. schedule on it, but um, either uh, there's some serious conversations were had, or somebody just pointed out a contract to somebody. We don't know the words yeah. yet, but, but, but you know what? Uh, yeah, I'm excited about it. I do think that we're going to get some more Thor stuff. I am starting to think more that it's going to be a movie about her and there's going to be some cameos. Because Hemsworth, that contract is over. Yeah. So he's just kind of doing these because, well, he said, he himself said that uh, he really appreciated that Sacramento TV, the 
director of the uh, Thor Ragnarok for reinvigorating his interest in the character and wanting to keep doing it. Yes. And uh, Taika is doing uh, Thor 4. Yeah, so, you know, we'll, we'll see how, how that one pans out. And then, you know, of course, we also have to talk about Disney Plus. Yeah, we have a, a lineup of uh, five uh, new Disney Marvel episodes coming out, all on Disney Plus, and these are canon. These are part of, well, one of them, we'll cover that. Uh, these are part of the uh, Phase 4. Phase so. 4. And the thing is, is we're going to talk uh, later about streaming networks, and, and there's a lot of stuff that Disney Plus is going to have coming up. Well, it's going to be one of those I highly recommend. But that being said, there's a lot of Marvel coming out of here, and it's all, like Sunset, said, it's all going to be canon stuff. So this is stuff that if you watch the movies, you love movies, you're going to need this. So... Uh, First is going to be Falcon Winter Soldier. A lot of people have heard about this. this That's a whole other year from now, fall of 2020. Yeah, it's fall of 2020, and it's actually been out there. We actually know quite a bit about it already. There's uh, some, some shorts out there. Yeah, who uh, then they've uh, dropped is uh, one of the main villains. Zemo. He's back. Yeah. So. Looking forward to it. And also, The Shield is going to be in it. So they're really going in all in on the uh, Avengers and Captain America to some degree. Yeah. And uh, it was, it, it's going to be basically, it says Falcon now, but. It's like Captain America and Winter Soldier. Yeah, they, they, they just don't want to say that yet. Yeah, because he is the new Captain America. Yeah. And uh, but that show is coming out, and then um, shortly after that, uh, there's a lot of vision, which obviously is a fine word because vision is in it, but he's dead, and obviously he's a robot they bring him back. But also, I think it's in it. They said it's going to be one of the weirdest shows they've ever seen. Not like something to do with like vision, like you know, her one of vision. Well, well I, I think that they say it's Paul Bettany is in it, so there is definitely vision in it. But yeah. Well, you have to realize too that the comic fan, you know, that you know, Scarlet Witch is able to alter reality, and she, you know, we haven't touched on that at all in the movie so far. Yeah. But she can change reality. So I mean, I think that they're saying it's going to be weird because I think that there's going to be things going on that have to do with her ability to alter reality, and I think that that obviously, obviously, it is because they said it's going to be canon. It's going to bleed. Like right into the Doctor Strange. Yeah, and this comes out spring 2021, which is right before Doctor Strange comes out. Also, a little nugget surprise for who's going to be in uh, One Division. Uh, Monica Rambo, the little girl from Captain Marvel, is all grown up and is now going to be part of that part of the uh, MCU. Yeah. And then coming out also at the same time as Loki, and this has been confirmed to be the Loki that got the test rack in Endgame and disappeared. This yeah. picks up right after that. Yeah. So we don't have any of the Loki uh, story arcs that we had from. Uh, uh, Thor's Dark World and then Thor Ragnarok, and you know, there's a story arc coming around on that. This is Loki right after getting smacked by the Hulk. Yeah, and, and the cool thing about that is, you know, first of all, Loki in the comics, he's, he's like Thor, he has a god and as guardian, he's a god of mischief. He's always out there causing trouble. And Loki, almost to, to the end of, um, of Ragnarok, it was almost to a point where it, it was hard to take that character. And go back to the, his mischievous ways. It could happen. Yeah, it was you gotta be mischievous, but he's also gonna be the comedic mischievous, so where you know that, yeah, he's gonna come back and help out. Yeah, in the end, he might, he, you know, he, he's still looking out for your better interests. But now we've got, you know, a look, he hasn't gone through some of those trials and tribulations, and Thor's not around. I mean, right now, he's with the Guardians of the Galaxy. Well, and the universe is where he's at, we don't know. Where yeah, oh, true. So. But I feel like they're, they're gonna be able to. To do a lot, a lot of fun things. The writers have a field day with And it's a good way to get Loki back into the franchise. Uh, I'm going to skip over the one that's coming out in September 21, because we'll circle back to that. Yeah. The last one coming out that's going to be part of the MCU that's uh, in this batch of releases is Hawkeye, Fall of 2021. Yeah, and, and we all, we may know something about this, and it's like Hawkeye is going to be in it, but it's, well, right. yeah, but it's also being locked into the mantle of Kate Bishop as Hawkeye. Um, so I, I'm kind of excited about that. Uh, Kate Bishop in, in the, the comics is, is great, and uh, and they actually the characters have a really great relationship. And uh, I've heard that the Kate Bishop character is going to be even more of a you know that uh, you know than uh, Hawkeye is. Yeah. And uh, I just was thinking this kind of looking at the list a second ago. I haven't really thought about it before, but this uh, release list is bookended on the um, uh, with Black Widow starting off no actual superpower. Yeah. A highly trained agent and ending with Hawkeye. No superpower, highly trained. Well, and it's kind of interesting that, you know, look at And we could go on about this for a long time. There's a lot, I have my assumptions about what all this is leading into because when you start looking at the TV shows and who's in it, 
and the characters and start and you look at the movies about some of the things that happened in the movies, you can start to draw a line. I mean, it's like even with Ant Man's uh, daughter, okay, her later on in the comics, her she becomes part of a, a superhero group that a lot of these people are all involved in. I feel when that Nick Fury is up in space, we got the uh, scrolls back. Yeah, and it's like I mean, we could we could be looking at this, the the scroll wars. I don't think that we're looking at that. I think we're looking at the movie and TV Avengers. I think that's what what they're building up to. Um, I, I think there's some characters that we're definitely going to see. And later on, we'll do a video and uh, where I'll I'll actually draw the line to and then call out my prediction, and we'll see. We'll see if it happens. Okay, we'll have one more time to go forward on that one and go from there. So what I did not cover is the animated series, What If, coming out uh, summer of 2021. Yeah. They have over 25 uh, Marvel actors, actresses, uh, uh, signed to it, actually reprise their voice uh, talent to the show. Um, it is animated. Yeah, very, very animated. Um, more animated probably than the movie series. <laughs> uh, but I'm looking forward to that one. It's definitely kind of, uh, uh, it has the watchers in it, uh, or a watcher in it. Yeah, the, 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 the watcher. The watcher. Um, that will be uh, leading that one. I'll be kind of an interesting little discount step aside from the rest of it. I'm kind of excited because I always, I always thought it would be cool to see a what if show and then kind of do it almost like uh, The Outer Limits or even, uh, oh God, I'm trying to think of some other great shows that do this, but, but you, know, you have that, that person that starts it off and talks about, you know, what if this had happened or that, and, like, you know, and then they set the stage and then. You know, bam, and I used to read a lot of comics. This is one of the ones I read when I was really little. I kind of got away from it. And there were some really great ones. Like, what if Wolverine had become more of the vampires? And, you know, mm-hmm. and th- things like that. That you, I mean, I just remember reading them as a kid and just being like, oh, it's so cool because none of it happened. And, and they could just go haywire with the story. I mean, it's just like, we could, you're a hero that you love that ended up becoming a super awful person. It's, it's, it's really up to the writer. Yeah. I think the very first episode was like, what if uh, Peggy Carter. Got the super serum instead of it's, yeah, so, and uh, Steve Rogers ended up becoming the first Iron Man. Yeah, right. It's like that's great stuff, wow. you know, and, and it's kind of cool. And uh, I, I'm really excited. I'm actually really excited about that series. I think it'll be a lot of fun. So at the end of the uh, Marvel uh, drop and all that, um, it came out, and they're like, okay, well, we didn't have a chance to talk about that we're you know Guardians of the Galaxy three coming out, or Black Panther two, two. or Marvel uh, Captain, Captain Marvel, Marvel two, two. Uh, and he's like. And he's like, and I didn't have a chance to talk about what we're doing with Fantastic Four. He's kind of left that and the whole crowd going crazy. Yeah, Fantastic Four. And I'm also, also that movie's coming out. He's like, or the mutants. Yeah, brought up the mutants. So we're going to be seeing, and, and I'm hoping when he said the mutants, he wasn't relating to the new mutants movie. Not, so, a, yeah, not I, the way he was I, I'm really thinking he's talking about the X-Men, which is going to be They're going to be doing their own way, too. They're not going to be really doing like, here's the X-Men movie that's like, you know, we're done. You know, yeah, right. Like it's gonna be fantastic. I, I, you know this X Men Spider Man my jam. The the X Men I have. So the X Men will be fantastic. Fantastic Four will be insane. There you go. Yeah, I mean I have every series. I've read all of them. And X Men, X Men, X Factor, Gold, you know, Blue. You name it, I've read it. And I'm super excited about X Men. But you did have a chance to say, okay, we'll come out on stage and uh, I brought a uh, Marshala Ali. Uh, if I have that right. Yeah. Uh, 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 Oscar winner, uh, Green Book, and others uh, brought out the stage. Oh, by this point, everyone in the uh, they have all the cast of all these different shows and movies out there. It's a yeah, backstage, it's backstage, and they're all wearing uh, black caps. Uh, they said the uh, Black Widow, uh, like a spider, yeah, uh, uh, thing on it. And uh, they're like, uh, uh, Brody, you have your own cap. He's like, Yeah, he put it on, and you could barely see it from back, you know, where the camera was, but then they put it up on the screen, laid, yeah. and then done. The, the, we don't even know where that's going to be fitting into all that. No. Uh, and, and, it's going to be a movie release, really, so I think we know that one Yeah, better. it's going to be a new movie. Uh, we knew that, that there was a plan for Blade and Blade. And it has to be PG-13 now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Marvel Universe is officially getting by you PG-13. Okay. So unless they just do like, now they're in Deadpool, like, ah, we're going to put this under the talk banner. They're, Blade is part of the MCU, so they're putting it in PG-13. So we're mm-hmm. thinking for PG-13 for you, Bob. You just don't have to show that much blood and gore like they did in the uh, what's his night trilogy? Um, uh, so, and another thought on that one, and this is not very confirmed or not, but you know, one we haven't had any vampires that we know of in the MCU yet. And we have a little movie, Doctor Strange, coming out having to do multiverses, and it's meant to be a horror genre. We've heard it kind of bring out some vampires and introduce a certain bloody. Yeah, oh, but that's a speculation. That's a speculation, and we are going to see some vampires. They're going to be on uh, the Sony side. Because 
Sony is going to be releasing Morbius, the Living Vampire, it's going to be played by Jared Leto. Um, but that's not part of the MCU. That's not part of the MCU. But it is in, in Marvel. Yeah, yeah. And it is going to be coming out. Speaking of Sony, uh, it's not confirmed yet, but the yes, latest information has been leading to uh, what might possibly be the key to film and Spider Man 3. Comes yeah, and uh, I, I, we talked about this yeah. Spider Man thing, and I'm kind of excited because I like being right. <laughs> we'll see, <laughs> we'll, we'll see but it is looking like there's a lot of assumption that's probably going to be carried on. Which adds to the Sinister Six. Yeah, and which ties into like what I gotta hope. I'm just once again crossing my fingers. I think several levels ahead when I start seeing these things, I start trying to think how maybe these guys might be thinking. And if you wrap up another Spider Man movie, close off that contract and try and make a deal, maybe maybe they can get something in to do a Sister Six movie, like one more movie, or even a trilogy, something. That might and, be their Avengers level. Yeah, and, and tie in you know some of the other Marvel Universe and bring it all together and do a nice Sister Six film. I, I'm hoping that's what they're planning. We'll see. Okay. Well, that's the information I have on Comic-Con as far as the main news that came out of it. Uh, we're going to cover some of these other ones as I talk about Top Gun reaction, and uh, talking about Jane, Tom, and Bob, and another video. So definitely please uh, hit like and subscribe, and uh, check out our other videos. Yeah, and uh, once again, if you guys have something that you uh, would like to see us talk about, uh, just send us a message. All right. Like and subscribe. Thank you.